Hey everyone, this is Kevin Cady from the Train Division. Wanted to introduce you to Central Square CAD that we're going to have on our MDTs. This is going to go live on May 20th. So we wanted to introduce it to you before you are in a position where you have to use it and notice, um, and you're going to notice some of the new features involved with it. It is similar to NPS in some ways, but uh, very different in others. And to start off, logging into Central Square, you'll notice you have to use your um, personal credentials here to get started. Eventually, you're going to get your, well, initially you're going to be given a default password. Uh, be sure to change it down here to customize it. But once you do, you sign in here and pick your unit ID. And then obviously you have a lot of names to scroll through here to get to your name and instead of using the up and down arrows initially unless your name starts with a to make it a little easier click or type on the keyboard the first letter of your last name and then you'll just highlight your name here and click the arrow over to select you and then be sure to do that with any of your crew members on that unit and then just make sure verify that your unit id is correct sometimes it can switch to something else and then you're free to log in okay so once you're logged into mobile enterprise central square you'll notice in the upper left corner i currently do, do not have a call if you do you'll have the instant number pop up here um, you have a search feature for incidents messages alerts something in settings i wanted to make sure to share with you we did not have this feature on mps and think about law enforcement uses this so it's uh it's more apropos for for their operations but there's a in out of vehicle feature so again i don't see us using this much but wanted to make you aware of it in case you accidentally click it and then you have trouble getting out of that mode so notice if i click in out of vehicle it simply says out of vehicle and anything i want to click on the screen uh is deactivated uh, this is just to prevent any outsiders from gaining access to the MDT. So the way to get out of this um, this mode is to simply go back to settings and click in out of vehicle. This takes you back to your normal screen. Going back to the left of our screen, um, you'll notice that instead of with MPS having static status change tiles that you click on throughout, you'll notice that the most likely change in status um, will be all the way to the left. So I'm not dispatched to anything, um, nor am I available. So available is the first thing that pings um, and then in quarters as I go down. But if you're dispatched to a call, in route would pop up first on the left. Then you'd see uh, on scene, patient contact. And as the call develops, let's say you arrive on scene, probably patient contact would be the next thing that would pop up. So it's just, it, it's more intuitive to your current status and uh, likely you're, you're clicking on what's most likely to the left for your next change in status. Over on our right toolbar, you'll see a, at the top, a back arrow, which is my favorite feature. We always find ourselves clicking on something and then we, we wish we didn't click there and we just want to go back. Well, like on our computers, we can just hit the back button and it'll take us back to our last screen. And I wish that worked in real life. Below that is our calls, active calls, which is what we're looking at right now. Uh, then our units for unit monitoring, messages, and then our maps. With our maps, we have different views. We can either look at things uh, kind of blandly. Um, we could look at it with topography which we live in Florida, who needs that? And then our uh, satellite view, which is my favorite. Uh, to get rid of this um, pane, just click the layers button again to get a full map view. If you're going to a pre-plan or a special event, you can type in the address here. It'll take you right to it. Um, you've got your navigation button here and then your GPS marker, which centers you on the map. North is always to the top, unless you click to the positional GPS feature, which will kind of move your unit to the bottom of the map 
And then in whatever direction you're facing, let's say you're facing to the east, it's going to put the east to the top of your map. You can manually zoom in and out on your map, or there's some predetermined uh, zoom levels. We got five of them. Whatever is easiest for you. We have a uh, spatial bookmark, which basically all that is is giving you an overview of Sarasota County. I'm not sure if this list will expand or not. Um, and down here, we'll get into once we are dispatched to a call. Okay, so here's what your screen will look like when you're dispatched to a, a fire call. Now, uh, you'll notice my status changes up here, dispatched. Your yeah, incident, incident has been updated. In, I clicked in route, and you'll notice you get that voice prompt. Every time there's a change, whether you're dispatched or you change your status, you're going to get that voice prompt of uh, a voice similar to a upset mother-in-law. So... Our comments on the left will be updated here uh, at the top and be done so numerically. You'll notice here I've got my ad incident address here in my bottom right corner. Um, I can map it here, directions. Um, I can zoom in on our call here on our map, and that's quite a response time for me. And again, I, if I want to go back, click back. This just shows the units attached to the call uh, this little text box down here feature i can go back and also um, begin time stamping things um, if i'm command such as two and two out established um, and so forth and let's say you want to use the navigation feature uh, to get to your incident there it's centered on my current location i can click on that bottom right address there of my incident click that that gives a uh, a big picture of my location in relation to the incident location i can click on uh, my centered location and then click uh, this directional proceed and now i have step-by-step -step navigation you'll notice when you do that you do have some um, action items you can click on here on the bottom center of your screen. You can open that up, get an overview, or clear the route and start over. I hope this brief tutorial was uh, beneficial for you and you learned something. If you have any questions when we hit that go live date on the 20th um, regarding the use of the MDT, uh, feel free to reach out to the train division. We'd be happy to help. In the meantime, stay safe. Have a great shift.